Hey guys, and welcome back to Them and Us. Let's continue, shall we? Right, we are going to want the North School rope. We're going to put the shotgun back for now. We're going to give the uh, good old shotty a little bit of a rest. Um, yeah. Yeah, we'll do that because we're going to take the bowgun for a spin. It's been a little while since we've had some bowgun action. And we're going to try some of these new... Uh, bolts. We're also going to take the bolt cutters. I wonder if anyone's worked out what they're for yet. And take the explosive rounds as well, I think. And that should just about give us what we need. I think we're running out of health here, actually. So maybe we need to be a little bit more cautious. Uh, right, let's combine those. Now, I cannot stand the whimpering of the dog in this room anymore um it's really obnoxious uh i don't know why it's constant it's just one of those things i get it i get the symbolism although i'm pretty sure i get the symbolism behind it it's fine but it's just relentless anyway let's go and start getting this ball rolling shall we so yes we're back in this room hmm and we're gonna use our bolt cutters on this door here actually a very nice bit of animation there oh and of course <laughs> I like the way that's just a perfect perfect little uh Little hole straight down. Okay, good thing that chandelier was there. Although, maybe, just maybe, it was there by design. We may never know. Let's get cracking anyway. Now we need to go and examine the place. Now, unfortunately, you don't see them there, but this place now has some friendos residing inside. I think this is the wrong door. Yep, that's fine. I could climb down there if I had a rope. You know, this is one of those annoying little rooms. We actually, we sort of do need to take this guy out in all fairness. And the only trouble, the main trouble I should say, with this guy is if we use our weapon there we go he's dead yeah unfortunately using this weapon uh, actually damages us quite significantly uh, I think it might be worth us going and getting some health let's use that rope for now I'm not sure I'm trying to remember back whether there's actually any health there do we risk it for a biscuit? Let's risk it. It's fine, I'm sure. Oh my. We can hear a spoopy sound. And if we go through here, prisoner note. And I need to mark that off my notes, actually. I'm trying to... Uh, keep track of all the notes we've found and there is one that we're missing actually okay it's been five maybe six days down here I want to die already I don't know what I did to incur Lord Alfred's wrath but at the same time but all the same me and five other initiates were locked up after the screams I've heard I'm starting to think facing the punishment in the swamps would be a better fate I don't know what he's doing I can only see through the slot in the door but every time I see the master he has some kind of glass bottle with him which he carries with the utmost carefulness as if it were a newborn child he did that is so loud uh, he disappears into their cells and I hear otherworldly sounds always punctuated by that terrible scream last night I went into Jessica's cell oh last night he went into Jessica's cell directly across from mine for a moment, I caught a look through the slot in his 
door. My eyes must deceive me, Jessica. She changed somehow. It all happened so fast. There was a splashing of water, a struggle by the end of it. I'd seen this brilliant blue light that the master appeared to pick up. I shudder to think it was Jessica's very essence, the soul itself. He didn't just pick it up though, he absorbed it and inherited it. The last one left, the others gone. My god, help me, somebody. Well, I'm guessing nobody came to help this guy. Unless he was there all along and we just dropped that on his head. Which is, uh, would be unfortunate. And there we have the light medallion. I'm not sure why the light medallion was in this room. We're not going to question it. We're going to accept it. And look at that. We're back in the catacombs. Hmm. You know what, guys? I think I am going to go grab some health just because we'll grab a health pack. Now, well, I guess we don't need to. Not really. Um. Okay. You'll see what I mean in here. We can hear a very menacing sound. What is that sound you say? Well, there's a chainsaw guy in here because of course there is. Now, this chainsaw lad uh, is a boss of sorts and he actually has taken the elevator cog. So we can't use that elevator. The thing is, you don't you don't need to fight him. So he takes a decent amount of ammo to take out. But there's no reward. <laughs> it's just it's it's very strange. He also isn't that threatening to be honest. He doesn't seem to do an awful lot of damage to us in the slightest, but you know, whatever. I guess we're not going to sit here and worry about it. Evening guys, evening. We're out of here. Okay. Now, I don't know if any other items have appeared since we've been gone. I'm going to say probably not. It's just... No. I haven't actually properly explored this area. I'm not a fan of being in this limping state, but alas. Not a huge amount. Of, well, actually, we, there is something we can do about it. There is a portal just over yonder, which I suppose we can grab. We need to go through there anyway. So let us grab that. We're going to be leaning on this weapon for a while, just because ammo supplies for the other ones are getting a little bit low. Now, let's have a little thunk. We're going to want the medals. We are probably going to want a save disc. Sure, I guess. We'll take a med kit as well. There we go. That'll take us back up to fine. Probably don't need the explosive bolts as well as the mine bolts. Alright, let's go. Reinvigorated and ready to kill. Um, there is, there's a couple of notes that we're literally missing, and it's annoying me. So, the hidden keynote we have, and the gatekeeper note pages. The gatekeeper note pages. That's not it. Gatekeeper note. Um, oh, no, actually, we're not, you know, we're not actually missing any notes at all. Somehow, I've actually managed to find them all, which is interesting. Kind of happy with that, to be honest. All right, now let's go and find our way back to the church. 
We've got a couple of zombies out here, but they're hardly worth our time. I see this place has been lit up like a Christmas tree. Very nice. I do like what they've done with the place. The gate is locked. Ah. Huh. Shame about the bolt cutters. Shame we couldn't have used them there as well. But then I suppose we've only got to go through the church. The messy church. This place is horrific. Okay. Oh. Oh. I mean, I guess. Sure. Anything else that spawned through here? That's weird. Maybe it was because we killed the uh, cop zombie. And thinking about it, I th think I struggled to find his ammo. Right. Anyway, we have some majubrates to put in the right slots. Message here says, The angels will protect our sacred place from evil. Well, angel... Message here says, The greater evil will always exist. No one can stop me, for I am death, inescapable. Evil. There we go. And of course, darkness cannot drive out darkness. Only light can do that. And there is the light medallion. Now I'm trying to work out, do I want to save the game? I think we'll be okay. And well, 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 what do we have here? Hmm. This is ominous. The Gatekeeper Journal. Entry 2. My time spent on this island grows into a blur as the master and that bastard child of his steadily uh, subsumes my will with theirs. To serve Lord Alfred is my will, my destiny. But part of me still strives for autonomy. I remember how things were at the mansion before he came. To even write this last physically pains me to do so, which is why I shall continue to document my journey until it becomes impossible for me to put pen to paper. Until I become one... Until I become one his puppets. One of his puppets, surely? Under complete control. As I patrol the grounds, keeping an eye on initiates and deciding which ones will meet my swamp son, which ones will meet their heretical fate, he grows hungry. I can sense it. The swamp son. Curious. Now, if we go to the gatekeeper journal, we've got... Yep, we've got that piece. Excellent. Okay, anything else in here? Let's have a quick sweep. Not really. So we have the signet ring. The insignia on this ring looks like a family crest. I wonder if it has anything to do with siblings among the cult. Or maybe it does. Just maybe it does. Right, anyway. Can we go down here? We can go down the trapdoor. Alright. So we've got any goodies here. Doesn't look like it. Unfortunately. So that's just going to lead us out through here. How interesting. Right. Well. Let's go back to the mansion. Hey, birdie. How about you kiss my rosy ass cheeks? I really want to kill him just for the sake of it, but it's... Uh, I mean, I guess 
we go. Mm, it's, nah, it's just not worth it. You don't even get an achievement for killing him. So... It really is pointless. This is a hell of a sell, to be honest. Alright. Back. Home sweet home. Now, we need to go... Back to the portal. And have a good jiggle around with our junk. Um, now, where we're going to go next, we're fighting mainly zombies, really. I might take the handgun. I like the handgun. The bowgun just doesn't have the same sort of impact for me. Now, I thought I was going to have to use that save disc there, but we avoided it. Let's just grab the handgun back. Well, you see, the bowgun does have the ability to use... An Mm. I guess what we could do I guess what we could do I suppose wow we really don't have much actually for that do we um, man I really need to organise this inventory a little bit as well but we ain't going to be doing that on camera. What I might do, I might take the bowgun explosive rounds. Combine those. So we've got something with a little bit more punch if we need it. Okay. Right. Now. Let's take the gun. And let's get going. Because we have a little exploration to do. Oh, hang on. We need the lighter. I'll go get that off camera. Alright, so. Lighter in hand. Let's go. Now we need to go all the way back outside. And uh, we need to light the fires. The six fires in order. We're going to take the ring as well. Because I forget if we need it. It has been a little while since I've uh, played this section. Ah, so long, mansion. We really did enjoy our time here. Okay, so... Best way out... I guess through the double gates, which is the way I'm going anyway. So we need to go back to where we found the troublesome cultists. But we are going to potentially uh, run up against a new enemy. Which could be fun to deal with. Unfortunately, this is going to be my last... Wait, hang on. How did I do that? Thick as fuck. Literally got turned around and went the wrong way. What a fucking retard. If I could try and avoid dribbling all over the floor and get through the door. That rhymes. We'll be on to a better path. Okay. Right. See tighty. Let's go this way. Man, this has felt like... One thing I will say, this has felt like a very long game. It probably hasn't been. But it has felt like a very long game. Just because of uh, all the backtracking. I think if you could cut that down, it would be much, much shorter. And obviously it'd be shorter, right? Duh. But I mean significantly shorter. Okay. So, now we need to light the fires. Luckily, I have written all this down. This is really annoying to work out. Obviously, you don't need to work it out because we've, we've found the, the law note. But if you didn't, this would be a pain in the ass. Now, even if you fuck this up, you cannot put these out. If you, if you start going in the wrong order, you have to light them all. Which is really annoying because they're not exactly next to each other. So you have to 
go through and light all of them and then when they're wrong they will all go out really bad design if you ask me but anyway we need to light this one and then we need to go all the way back now you can imagine if you accidentally mess it up when you're towards the end and then you have to light them all anyway and then you do it a second time yeah damn and then we need fear which I believe is that one. I like. There's a. Te there is a text here. It reads. Just. Just say the name. You don't need to push three buttons. To scroll through it. All right. Fear. And then uh, we need ethene. Which is this one here. And then we need number five which is this one back over here. I mean, to me, this puzzle is, it just feels like it's needlessly stretched out. It didn't have to be this far apart, but hey, whatever, I guess. I guess that is a small detail. All right, now we can go into the mausoleum. And we're getting his autosave as well, which is fun. The game is sort of generous with the autosaves, to be honest with you. All right. Gee, that would have been smart to take the knife. It's sort of a shame that the knife is obsolete. Evening, zombie! Get back into your watery grave, zombie. Now there's a new enemy that lurks around here. It's kind of a moldy aqua zombie. We'll see him in a minute. Do we actually have a map here? We do. Okay. Oh, evening. We've got a fat boy. He's done. Some extremely waterlogged bullets. We'll take them. The water effect is sort of nice in this, you know. It's very old school. It tickles my brain in the right places. Hello, buddy. Are you a porker? I mean, we know you're a pork. Oh, God, yeah. These guys are bloated with bog stench. Okay. Looks like something small and circular can be placed here. Hello. Ooh. He's gone. Uh huh. Evening. I guess he's uh, hungry for lead today. <laughs> Beautiful. Got some goodies. Ah, yeah. Here's me trying to use my uh, weapon that I don't have. Fine. All right. Now let's get moving. So something small and circular can be placed here. I wonder if that's this. <gasps> Carefully does it. The sign on the door says, Abandon hope all ye who enter here. Yes, the chosen must complete the order. Yeah, so we need to complete the game before we're allowed in there. Now, slowly, slowly. 
fat boy. Ooh. Hello. Yeah, see these guys? These are like weird little aqua zombie guys. They actually... Oh no, the game's crashed. The game's crashed. Of course it has. We're on 25 minutes, guys. So... I'm going to have to leave it as that, I think. Which means next time I play, I've got to do all this again. Ugh, bastards. Utter bastards. Anyway. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. And as always, till next time.